Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So this morning, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the door handles off on this uh, C10, and uh, I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff uh, down to bare metal. So I'm gonna prep the body. And why do people do this? These are the spots where the chrome went on this truck. And somebody, uh, let me see if I can get one from inside while I'm talking to you guys. So on the inside, yeah, you can see that right there. That's Bondo. Hi, I'm Wayne Reynolds. <laughs> Get out of there. Who is Wayne Reynolds? But anyways, you can see what they did right here. So that's gotta be welded up. There's a hole right here, hole right here, hole there. And these are gonna have to be peened or, you know, flattened out with a hammer and dolly before I weld them up. Another one there, they're just all over the place. And then, you know, the ones from the mirror, the stock mirror or whatever, it had those big like camper mirrors on it. Um, I noticed another little hole right here, some rust is starting. So I'll have to get this thing down to bare metal and see how bad it is. Oh, so that's what I'm working on today. So the next step I'm doing is uh, trying to get the front bumper off. And you can see right here in the camera, that smashed up spot. So I'll probably have to pull this piece off, fix it. I'll do that on the welding table. The grill's not too bad. It just needs to be sandblasted and painted or whatever we're gonna do to it. Uh, but I'll get the front bumper off, pull the hood, and, and then this piece behind the hood here. 
Now I have to get this stuff in a bare metal. And I did notice there's a spot in the hood right here that needs to be fixed. It's got like a little dent, but the hood's like pretty mint from what I can tell. There's a couple little dings and dents and whatever. Maybe you guys can leave down uh, comments down below. Did these have any chrome pieces or anything on the front of the hood? I don't know. I'm not too familiar with these trucks. I love the body style though, I think they're beautiful. this uh, grill out of here so I can get this piece out the bare metal and figure it out. That actually happened at our shop. That was an accident, so it got smacked with uh, one of the forklifts, so nothing you can really do about that. Just fix it. Um, but anyways, I think I'm going to keep, uh, I don't think I'm going to pull the fenders off because everything's pretty clean, but I, I think what I will do is... Uh, I might pull that grill off so I can pull this piece off and then fix it and then put it back on so I can get everything all lined up, you know, as far as the doors and the fenders and hood, the way the hood closes and everything. But uh, I'll go ahead and get that hood pulled off so I can get it uh, down to bare metal. These hoods weigh a ton. Come on, you prick. Trying to do this by yourself, you need to know yoga.
that thing weighs a ton. We got it by myself. <laughs> so it didn't take me too long. It took me like 45 minutes to get the back of the cab done, get it into bare metal. And uh, I'll work on the other side tomorrow, but I'd like to get start getting some of the stuff cut out and the rockers repaired and brought out where they need to be and get the doors adjusted and moved around. I also got the hood off and pulled the bumper off and all that crap earlier. So that stuff's out of my way now. I don't have to mess around with it. And when I come up on the tops of those lips, if I'm doing any body filler or anything like that or block sanding, I don't have the hood in my way. And then I'll put the hood on and line it up and get it where I want it before I do my final block and sand. And that's about it on this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. So what I'm doing right now is I want to sand around that windshield. But the problem is, is uh, you know, I know it's going to eat up the rubber. Um, there's a chance I could break the windshield. And I don't like working like that. The side windows, I'm going to leave in the doors. And I'll, I'll take those off. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this, uh, you know, get this cut out or whatever. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just use a razor blade and cut the rubber out of there. So I'm gonna finish cutting that rubber out now. I cut around both, you know, both sides, and uh, it was pretty quick. Cut the centerpiece out, and I'll be able to pop that windshield out. That windshield's out now, so I'll go ahead and uh, wrap it in cardboard or whatever. That way it doesn't get broken. And then uh, I'll send this off to the customer when the truck gets picked up. And then what I did is I just sat this on a box right here for now. And then uh, I'll finish doing what I got to do in here, cleaning all this stuff up. And then tomorrow I'll move this windshield upstairs, uh, wrap it up, put it upstairs, mark the customer's name on it, and then go from there. That way now I can get in here and get all this crap pulled out. All the window rubber, scrape all that caulking and silicone and what, are, what other rubber other crap that they have in there. And see, I'm glad I, I looked at this because there's some rust started right here. Then I'll be able to put some uh, rust inhibitor on there, you know, get that rust to stop and then put some primer on it, whatever. So I'm glad I pulled that windshield out now. Um, I did get a hold of the customer and tell him, hey, you know, this needs to come out. You know, I don't want to scratch a windshield or mess up that rubber. The rubber shot anyways, you can see right here that, you know, it's all falling apart. and cracked and whatever so i'll go ahead and, uh you know get new rubber for it and whatever or he'll probably do that i don't know but anyways um i'm gonna get out of here you guys have a good night thanks for watching later